Hey indie game fans, hey. I'm Jellius and in this video I'm going to show you some exciting and maybe unknown upcoming releases. Let's go! October is the best time of the year, it's my birthday. <coughs> But also, time for a new round of indie game showcase in Steam Next Fest. And as an indie game lover, I tried a lot of games during this event over the years. Lots of my favorite games were showcased for the first time worldwide in this event. For example, last year I discovered Balatro. Of course, my Gotti for 2024. I spent some hours on that. But Balatro is not the only one. I discovered lots of excellent games that later I bought and enjoy as well. So this time I'm very excited to introduce you some of the most exciting, enjoyable and unique games you can play during the next fest. 5 demos everyone should try during Steam Next Fest. This game has a very short and brief demo, but still it caught my attention. Megacon Industries, the company behind that, made a huge success Here comes the money. Here we go. Money. with his first Lonely Mountains game. Downhill has very positive comments with more than 2000 reviews. Compete to get the best time. It's perfect game to push yourself to the limit in terms of ability. <laughs> For the next game, we don't end with franchises. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Because Wilmot Works It Out is also a sequel. In first game, Wilmot was working in the warehouse. In this one, we find Wilmot at home doing some puzzle games. When puzzles are done, he has to hang them in the wall to decorate. It's the second puzzle game made by Hollow Pawns and published by Finji, the publisher behind Tunic, Night in the Woods and others. Kurzbane is a fast-paced action roguelite. The twisted mechanic that makes this game different is that your choices during the game will determine your journey. So, map is unraveling depend on your choices. I was very impressed on how addictive it gets. I love roguelike games and this one is one to watch. Also, it combines perfectly the strategic combat with deep lore and storytelling. Congratulations! Thirty Birds is one of the biggest surprises of the Steam Next Fest at the moment I'm filming this video. <coughs> the art style is like nothing else I've ever experienced in video gaming. I was amazed all the time that I played the wall feels vibrant and very alive. Your character is investigating a mysterious kidnapping that occurs in your village and you have to find clues and objects. Every step around the scenery is magic. I could be hours hanging around and finding new details. Also, dialogues are very comedic and easy to engage. Another huge part of the game is the mini games inside of it. In the demo I played two of them and they were funny as hell. Definitely this one will be in my top 10 of games showcased during the band. And last but not least, Scarlet Deer Inn. I was very excited to play it. Long ago, I discovered it in X, well, Twitter, and I felt in love with art style. 
Characters and dialogues are embroidered and I was very curious about the concept and how it worked in the game. And the result, it's just amazing. Matches very well with the rest of the scenery and gives a tremendous personality to the game. Also, I was very pleased to play and discover the dungeon moment in the demo. I won't say nothing else about that because I want you to experience it. The release date hasn't been announced yet, but I'll be following closely. So that's all for this video. If you give love to this video, I'll be showcasing more indie games from Steam Next Fest in upcoming videos. I'm Jellius, and if you love indies, hit the subscribe button and comment which games I have to show in future videos. See you!